What's going on internet? IG here again with another Linux app pick. Today I'm looking at the minimalist client for Evernote known as Everpad. <laughs> There are many millions of users when it comes to the Evernote note-taking platform. I personally use it on my Android phone and my Android tablet and, uh, and I've been wanting to have some sort of way to connect it to my Ubuntu desktop and my Ubuntu workflow. Now I realized that there was a client out there known as Nixnote or something similar. I think it went through a name change through there somewhere, but unfortunately the, the authorization got a little bit sketch as the Evernote API developed. Uh, but now here we are with Everpad, which is uh, just a minimalist tool that helps to synchronize your notes and gives you a platform to create them and synchronize them with, of course, your Evernote account. Now, depending on what platform you're on or what desktop environment you're running, you're going to have different uh, ways that this little app will uh, integrate with your desktop. On Ubuntu's Unity, you're going to have an a Evernote lens or an Everpad lens where you've got a quick preview of all of the notes that you've taken. You can also filter these notes based on the notebooks, tags or places that you've specified when you took the note. Not a bad option at all. Then of course when you integrate this with, uh, when you also integrate this with the dash, you get searchable results depending on what you type in the note. So it will go either by the title, the tag or the text that's in the note itself. So it's pretty comprehensive in its search functions. On the KDE desktop environment, it works in with KRunner so that you get similar results. Now, when you open up the note, the text by default is kind of small. And if you do open up the note searching for a specific word, it will highlight that word in the note. So you can see here you get basic formatting options as far as the rich text formatting. You can also insert links, pictures and checkboxes as well as numbering. And then of course you can edit the tags com uh, separated by commas and specify which notebook you want to save the note in. Once you're done you hit save and it will upload it to your Evernote account. Then of course you have a list of the notes that you've recently used on the panel and quick links there to create your note which then when integrated with the HUD menu of Ubuntu a simple create note command and you're away. Now I really find this productive when you integrate it with the Evernote Web Clipper Chrome application for Chromium and the Google Chrome web browser. So for example, if I'm looking at something interesting on Google+, let's say, I find an interesting article that I want to read, I open it up and I start reading it and I realize that I want to use one of the quotes in a project that I'm working on. So if I install the Evernote Web Clipper, I can simply right click a selected text or even a web page and say e click selection. It will clip the selection to my Evernote account and then it will show up in the panel up the top here. Searchable text, rich text formatting, nice desktop integration, what more could you ask for? Definitely check out Everpad if you're a fan of the Evernote client on Android and other platforms. And I will be back very soon with another Linux distro review. Also, in the comments below, continue to send me app review selections and recommendations. And we'll be getting onto the Gen 2 review relatively soon, just working through some hiccups, establishing a KDE desktop, and I'm kind of busy at the moment. With all that said, peace out, ladies and gentlemen.